Okay, hey everybody. Um, my name is Jeremy Whalen. I'm a tech teacher at Northampton High School, and this is Tim, and he's going to show you a uh, the design that he's creating, and hopefully what we'll be able to fund through the GoFundMe project for a robotic arm. So, Tim, you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so, my name is Tim, as uh, Jeremy said. Um, so, I created this robotic arm, and it fits over your own arm. This is just a prototype made out of wood for now, but the basic idea is still there, and so essentially how it works, just a brief overview, is a motor will power a gear right here and that uh, will in turn spin this gear and that will move your arm. And There's also going to be um, one of those on the shoulder here and on the CAD model, which is slightly more fleshed out, there is uh, actually three points of actuation on the shoulder right there and so you'll be able to uh, move your shoulder in its full range of m motion, which includes up and down, uh, twi twisting, and left and right. And um, to, with that, you'll be able to lift about 100 extra pounds per joint, um, which is really useful in uh, fields such as public safety. So if a firefighter is in a building and there is a really heavy log, in the way of uh, sa saving someone, uh, that log will be that much easier to lift. Uh, it also has applications in the medical field. So if someone, uh, for example, lost the use of their arm, it would be able to move their arm for them. Or if their arm, if they just went through a surgery and their arm uh, is having trouble moving, it would be able to assist them in stretching it and sort of working it back to full health and there's uh, it also it's its third use is in the shipping industry where, where workers um, injure themselves all the time by trying to lift too heavy objects with not enough support so this will just even if it doesn't give them strength it'll make it easier and cause less injuries in these workers that'll save companies millions of dollars a year on these injuries uh, and for the prototyping phase to save costs I've been 3D printing a lot of the materials but with the money that I get from the GoFundMe campaign I'd be able to use metal instead of wood be able to CNC mill these parts and I'd be able to uh, buy the motors for the arm and shoulder actuation and actually build a model that functions exactly as it's supposed to cool and there was a uh, I think that you also mentioned a little bit of an educational component to it yeah uh, I plan on going to the middle school around my town and some of the elementary schools and trying to engage kids in science and technology because sometimes it's hard to do when you're in a classroom and you're just learning about it. So I hope to show them uh, engineering in practice and get them excited about building things and being creative and actually putting science to use. Nice. Well, it looks awesome, and uh, I really hope that we get this funded because I know that you spent a heck of a lot of time on it, and it's one of your dreams. So, awesome. So, go fund me. Thank you. Hopefully, we can uh, get this done. Cool. Yeah.